And with with Thea, again, she was the heart of the show. She was a good love interest. And I really wanted her to have a happy ending because she was the character that I was most invested in emotionally. I felt like she was a great character, did a great job acting, everything. And then the next great character was Kofi. I thought Kofi, man, I was so disappointed that Kofi got killed off. I, 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 was, I was thinking about not watching the show anymore, got, got to be honest. Because Kofi, he was awesome. He was badass. He was funny. I really wanted him to be like the underdog hero of the season. But instead, he basically became the the victim of the season. Like where we think about Michael and like all the stuff that he did. It, it all led to Kofi getting killed, even though he's an innocent person. He he didn't do what he was accused of by all these people. And, you know, he got painted, painted evil in the media, all that stuff. And I was really rooting for Kofi. If you want to uh, compare him to any other fictional character, I thought he was going to be like the Miles Morales of this show. Uh, you know, obviously I don't like Miles Morales that much in the comics, but in the video games, he's really cool. I thought that Kofi was going to be like a Miles Morales type character. I thought he was going to like assist the investigating. I thought he was going to like, I, I don't know. I don't know what I expected, but he was such a great charismatic character. I was really disappointed when he got taken off. And then... I also like Gina. Obviously, I didn't like her as a person because she's she was evil as hell. But she was really good at being like a villainous character, even more so than her actual husband, who is supposed to be the main bad guy. And so now we get to the bad. Let's start off with Jimmy, the villain. <laughs> Jimmy, Jimmy's a villain. <laughs> Maybe the villain of fruit. <laughs> Because Jimmy supposed <laughs> Jimmy <laughs> Jimmy Jimmy supposed to be like the the gangster villain of the show, and the only villainous things he does. Let's see, he he stabs a grapefruit. <laughs> like a little pouty face while he stabs the grapefruit like nah, nah. you know that that's what he looks like he looks like he could be like a 1950s gangster like nah, I'm gonna rob a bank now and I'm gonna get my Tommy gun nah. and then uh oh fuck I got hair in my mouth fuck uh uh <laughs> Jimmy was just not villainous at all. A lot of people said, well, what about when he killed Kofi's family? That was his wife who ordered that. And perhaps people have actually theorized his wife was the one who called it. Uh, he basically did it on her orders. And he did it because of her and because she's evil as hell. He did not order it himself in terms of like he came up with that idea. And even so, that was really evil. But, I mean, like, what he does with his own hands. Oh, yeah, he, he killed the blackmailer who n no one liked, and he was born wrong, and he was wrong his whole life. They killed the blackmailer. Wow, he he, he really did something evil. <laughs> and so, yeah, <laughs> what, a f what a fucking failure of a villain. I mean, <laughs> I mean, I loved his final scene. That was probably one of my favorite scenes of the whole season. When Michael was watching him and Adam through the window. And Jimmy's like, watch what I do. And then what does he do? He opens his arms and he hugs Adam. And I just, even thinking about it now, that was really a nice, great, emotional moment. And it was such a, a transcending moment for the character. Just imagine how powerful that would have been if he was actually as evil as he was supposed to be. Uh, yeah, what a disappointment. And then, speaking of disappointments, Adam! Adam, you little shit! <laughs> Let's talk about Adam. Adam is the stupidest. He is just the worst. He is so 
dumb. He's like a he's he's he is the Skylar White of this show. I mean, he is really, really just the worst. I mean, he's stupid. He makes stupid decisions. Uh, he's not, you can't sympathize with him because he's so stupid. He's always got that look on his face like, <gasps> like he's losing breath. Like every single scene he's on, he has this asthma that just comes and goes. Uh, he's got like all these girlfriend problems. He, he, he gets mad if you, if you make a, a dirty comment about his teacher who he's fucking, uh, you know, he is, <laughs> he is just the worst. <laughs> Adam, <laughs> and he, what's so disappointing is he was supposed to be the heart of the show, and you just, it, it just couldn't, uh-oh, <laughs> and it just couldn't happen, because he was not sympathetic, and he was not a character you wanted to root for, he was a good actor, though, he did, and, and speaking of someone that you didn't want to root for, or want to, you you got Franny, and let's just get it over with. Franny is smoking hot. I mean, she is so hot. Oh my god, and my voice just went up. That that must you could take that out and just be like, listen, to this nerd talking about Franny. She was so hot, <laughs> but she was she was really hot. She did not, <laughs> she did not look like a teacher at all. She looked like a young. Like, she's, like, 19 or 20. She did not look like she's, like, 30. Like, they're trying to make her look. And she basically dropped off of the face of the earth and <laughs> didn't even play a part in the finale. But she was really hot. <laughs> her character made no sense. Uh, she was... She was a, a huge plot hole. Because you were expecting her to play some sort of a part. I mean, there was one person who commented all the time about Franny, saying, what about Franny? Is Franny the one who killed Michael's wife? Did Franny do this? Did Franny do that? Is Franny the real bad guy? And so that was really disappointing with Franny. She was a wasted opportunity, and uh, but she was hot. I, I just wish she would have been a better character, to be honest. And, you know, how Adam treated her. I really sympathized with her, even though she's a sex offender. You know, I sympathized with her because, you know, the way Adam just, like, dumped her by the curve after he told her about what happened, you know, it's just ridiculous. Uh, I, I wish that she would have been played a part in the finale, to be honest. And then we got Big Mo. With Big Mo... Yeah, Big Mo is the leader of the Desire Gang. She was good at acting, very good at acting for the part she was given, but the part she was given was weak. Uh, she never really did anything badass. She never did anything that really, like, made us think, like, ooh, you should be afraid of her. No. In fact, a lot of the time, she just kind of sat around eating, or she picked her teeth with this metal thing to kind of reference Fargo season three, which, uh, Jimmy Baxter was a star in that season. Uh, you know, she was really not a great villain and she did not really play a part into the finale. In fact, there's a scene, I can't remember if it was the finale or episode nine, where she basically said, I'm not going to tell you the truth to Lee. And, I really wish that she would have played some sort of a part except for being like the the gang leader who Eugene has to interact with like she was a really weak character to be honest. Uh you know, if there was a season 2 though, maybe she would have been a great villain season 2. Who knows? And then speaking of terrible villains, Cusack the dirty cop. Ha! What a joke. I mean, this guy, he was a force to be reckoned with in episode two where he's torturing Kofi. And you think, uh-oh, this guy is going to be one of the main villains of the show. But no, not really. He just kind of fizzles out. Uh, you know, he was a weak character. He was so stereotypical. Trash. Kofi's dad up next. Speaking of terrible people, Kofi's dad, 
he he basically abandoned Kofi and he refuses to like help with the investigation because he doesn't want to be associated with them or something like it's just so such a trash character that comes in and it's like ugh and you know he's he's really stereotypical too you know he he abandoned them and you know all that kind of stereotype he is a really terrible character and then Eugene oh god Eugene literally was used so that he could do the thing that he did in the finale. I mean, <laughs> so many people defended his cliche, stupid story where he, he he's the young dipshit kid who joins a gang and he doesn't know that they're manipulating him and he's just this innocent kid and, you know, they have all this stupid shit where he... He's alone on the street, and he's just running rampant and running loose, even though he's a kid. You know, he's not even taken into foster care. It's just fucking ridiculous. And then at one point, he's like, I don't want to be in the system. I just want to make money in the gang. And <laughs> it's like, what a weak... You know what the real reason that he wanted to be in the gang was? So that he could be in the finale, uh, doing the plot stuff that they needed him to do. Uh, he was just used so that he could be in the finale and kill Adam. And uh, he was trash. You know, uh, and it's unfortunate because for a lot of the season, I bet everyone was wondering, like, what's Eugene going to do? Like, what's the point of this stupid story where it's like this cliche, like, he's in a gang? And, like, what's the point of that? Oh, he kills Adam. <laughs> trash. And then Carlo. Ugh. Carlo might be the worst character, I would say. Uh, Carlo, <laughs> he's he is a piece of shit character. He's he does more villainous things than Jimmy, and he he's like this evil animal person who, that this animalistic person who, uh, you know, he's stupid. He's he's like a big like thug type of a person. You know, he's got all these muscles and he's just like dopey and. Uh, you know, he is such a terrible character that I saw girls on YouTube saying, Oh my God, Carlo is so hot. I want to fuck with Carlo, man. Carlo is such a beefcake. And, oh God, that just made me want to puke. Like, you've esta they established this character as a, quote, villain. But then you got all these girls creaming over him. I mean, it's just ridiculous with uh, this Carlo guy. He's such a, I mean, they hardly give him any character at all, except for when it fits the plot. And then we got the defense attorney and the prosecutor. Both of them were trash. And then we got Robin. Let's talk about Robin. She is just a walking cliche, even though she's dead. She's the walking dead, I guess. Because her character is like the typical like person who dies, and then they have all these secrets that you find out about. You know, she's just very stereotypical. Uh, she's never given any sort of redeeming quality about her at all. She's basically the elusive wife who died. She had an affair. She had all these secrets. And it never pays off. We never find out who kills her. We never find out who had an affair with her. It's just stupid. It is just so stupid and such a weak plot with her. So pointless. It basically is there to make him closer to the investigators, uh, Michael. Uh, and so, yeah, it's basically for plot convenience. And that is where the main issue with this show lies. Plot convenience. Now, someone on YouTube stupid enough to come here and comment on the finale video said, You don't know what the difference between plot convenience and plot is. <laughs> Like, basically, this person is such a brain-dead moron that they think that there's no difference between plot convenience and plot. They think plot convenience is the plot. Like, oh my god, what a pathetic fanboy you gotta be to think that. I mean, can't you tell the difference between something that naturally happens because it feels like it naturally happens with something that happens just 
because this other thing happened, because this other thing happened, because this other thing happened. Let's just trace back how, why, how Eugene killed Adam. Eugene killed Adam, why? Because he was trying to kill Carlo. Oh, isn't that convenient that he's trying to kill someone else and then he accidentally... Oh, isn't that convenient? Where did he get the gun? He got the gun because he used the money that Michael gave him for the baseball. Michael it accidentally killed his own son by giving Eugene the money for the baseball, which the baseball belonged to Kofi. Kofi died because of Michael lying about him and him going to prison, and he lied about Kofi because Adam killed Rock. I mean, do you see how insanely convenient that is? I mean, is it that hard to see that? Really? That's just that's just ridiculous. I, I mean, anyone could see that, that that's convenient. Everything in this whole season is convenient, plot convenience for the most part. And that was my always my biggest problem with the show. And I said multiple times, I do not want this to get more and more convenient. I want a natural plot with natural story. And what happened? things got even more convenient each and every episode. The one thing I would say was the, the best thing about the show, if I had to say anything, was the acting and the characters and the cast. They really assembled a fantastic cast of people. Uh, you know, even the bad characters, you know, they were still great, unique characters. Oops, sorry. They were great, unique characters, which is very important when you have a show. You have a big variety of unique characters. So yeah, that's a. <laughs> this has been a long video, uh, but yeah, that's my review for the show. Overall, it's a decent show with great acting, uh, but it's got a lot of plot convenience. It's very forced. It's very soap opera-y. It's very melodramatic. That's the biggest problem. Uh, yeah, all that plot convenience. Ugh. So, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you're a mindless fanboy. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you want to attack more of my videos or if you enjoy my videos. You know, whatever the reason. So, goodbye, everybody. See you soon for probably another list video.